Eric Perez. Eric Alexander Perez, born December 18, 1979, is a Puerto Rican professional wrestler who currently performs under the ring name Escobar. In 2005, Perez signed a developmental contract with World Wrestling Entertainment, WWE, where he worked for developmental territories deep. South Wrestling and Florida Championship Wrestling, winning the Tag Team Championship in both and the FCW Florida Heavyweight Championship. In the fall of 2009, he was promoted to WWE's main roster as Eric Escobar, appearing on the SmackDown brand. On January 17, 2010, he was released from his WWE contract. Perez subsequently returned to Puerto Rico, performing in the IWA and Puerto Rico Wrestling Association, winning the heavyweight titles of both promotions. Professional Wrestling Career International Wrestling Association and World Wrestling Council, 2000 2005 Perez began his career in the International Wrestling Association in Puerto Rico, after receiving training with personnel from the company. Prior to debuting in professional wrestling Perez had always had an interest in wrestling fueled by World Wrestling Entertainment and Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. Perez also stated that during his career he was inspired by the microphone skills of Chicky Star and The Rock and by the in-ring ability of Kurt Angle while visiting an event presented by the IWA in Carolina, Puerto Rico, Perez was approached by Victor Quinones then, president of the company, who asked to him if he was interested in receiving training to become a professional wrestler. His first angle with the company was as the leader of a group of young wrestlers titled Lucha Libre 101, originally composed of Brian Madness, Roberto Rubio, Chicano, Carlos Cotto, and Abad, Enrique Sinigaglia. Several of the members of Lucha Libre 101 were either injured or abandoned the company while it was in progress which led to it being cancelled. After the company terminated this angle he acted as host of a talk show segment, but he was not interested in the section and asked the company to give the role to Daniel Garcia Soto while he traveled to Mexico. While working in the IWA, Perez acquired a job to work with the federal government of the United States. This limited the number of days he could perform with the company, after seven months in. This office he notified that he was not going to be able to continue working a four-day schedule, and attempted to dialogue the situation with the company's personnel. He was not able to contact staff of the company which led to him asking for a release, several months later a fellow wrestler called him and asked if he was available to work with the World Wrestling Council which led to a reunion between him and the company's Vice President Carlos Colon, Sr. he noted in interviews that his experience with the company was good, although it was a long and tedious one based on the company's quality standards. While in IWA, Perez wrestled in the United States with Bang, a promotion owned by Dory Funk Jr. against wrestlers including Brent Dale and several of Bang's champions. He subsequently worked with the World Council, winning various titles there. World Wrestling Entertainment, 2005-2010. Deep South Wrestling, 2005 to 2007. During September 2005, Perez was contacted by World Wrestling Entertainment (WWE) for a development contract. He was assigned to their developmental territory, Deep South Wrestling, and began working under the pseudonym The Puerto Rican Nightmare, Eric Perez. During his time. There, he wrestled in singles matches, in addition to teaming with Montel Vontavious Porter and later, 
Sunny Siaki with whom he formed the tag team, Urban Assault. The team won the Deep South Tag Team Championship once before the company finished its business relationship with WWE. On May 1, 2006, Perez competed in a tag team match at his first WWE house show. He would then appear at ECW house shows in late July and again on September 30th. Alongside Siaki, he started Wrestling on Raw House shows in February 2007. Florida Championship Wrestling, 2007 to 2009. After Deep South Wrestling ended their working relationship with WWE, he was transferred to Florida Championship Wrestling, where he continued performing as a developmental talent. Perez was subjected to surgery in October 2007 after sustaining an injury on his back, prompting several months of inactivity while in recovery. Perez returned to action in January 2008 and continued his participation in the promotion. On January 26, 2008, he participated in a battle royal to determine the number one contender for the FCW Southern Heavyweight Championship. Perez won the tournament after eliminating the final contender with the help of Eddie Colon. On February 23, 2008, Perez and Colon, collectively known as the Puerto Rican Nightmares, defeated Stephen Lewington and Heath Miller in a tournament final to become the first ever FCW Florida Tag Team Champions. The team lost the titles to Brad Allen and Nick Namath on March 23. 2008, before winning them back via disqualification on April 15, 2008. They lost the titles to Drew McIntyre and Stu Sanders on May 6, 2008. On July 17, Perez and Cologne reclaimed their titles by defeating McIntyre and Sanders. They later lost the titles to Nick Namath and Gavin Spears on August 16, 2008, when Cologne was promoted to the main brands. Less than a month later, on September 15, Perez performed in a dark match prior to Raw, defeating Gene Snitsky by pinfall. The following week, on September 22, he performed against Tommy Dreamer prior to the WWE SmackDown tapings. On December 11, Perez won the FCW Florida Heavyweight Championship, defeating Sheamus. Oshinesi, Joe Hennig and Drew McIntyre in a fatal four-way match. The following month, FCW's creative team changed his ring name to Eric Escobar. During the following months, while still holding the title, Perez performed on several dark matches prior to the tapings of WWE's main brands, working under his developmental ring name. On February 17, 2009, he wrestled against Jimmy Wong Young before SmackDown. A couple of weeks later, Perez performed a sketch in Spanish, deeming himself the future talent of WWE, subsequently defeating Kazarni. On February 26, 2009, he was booked to lose the championship against Hennig. He continued working with Jan. On subsequent dates, performing jobs on March 17, 2009, prior to SmackDown's 500th episode, the August 3rd edition of WWE Superstars and the August 4th edition of SmackDown. Perez then entered a Feud with Santino Morella during one of WWE's Latin American tours, trading victories. SmackDown, 2009 to 2010. As his promotion to the main roster approached, a character based on Jonathan Goldsmith's The Most Interesting Man in the World was pitched for Perez by writer Jen Bloodsworth, vignettes for it were recorded but the concept was ultimately abandoned. On September 28, 2009, he performed in 
His last dark match against Primo, losing by pinfall. The following night, Perez Perez made his debut on the main roster under the ring name Eric Escobar. He was placed in an angle with Vicky Guerrero and performing as a villainous character during the tapings of SmackDown's 10th anniversary show. In his in-ring debut, he defeated Matt Hardy by pinfall, receiving a spot in the brand's team for the first edition of WWE Bragging Rights. In his debut for WWE Superstars, he was teamed with Drew McIntyre being placed over the tag team of Hardy and R-Truth. On October 23, 2009, Escobar was one of five wrestlers removed from Team SmackDown of bragging rights. Escobar was included in his first and only championship match in WWE on November 27, 2009, losing to John Morrison for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. The angle with Guerrero was ended in a skit that featured a spot where she yelled at him and slapped him in the face, prompting a physical confrontation between both characters, which ultimately ended with Escobar turning into a face character. During his face run, Escobar was punished by Guerrero, who put Escobar in handicap. Matches against the Hart Dynasty, David Hart Smith and Tyson Kidd, and Jerry Show, Chris. Jericho and Big Show. On December 18th, Escobar wrestled in his final WWE match, losing. To Kane in what was another punishment for Escobar by Guerrero. On January 17th, 2010, Perez was released from his WWE contract. Independent Circuit, 2010 to 2012. Consequently, Perez returned to the World Wrestling Council on January 30th, 2010, working under the ring name Mr. Escobar. This character was based on his previous WWE gimmick. He was Immediately booked in a feud with Ray Gonzalez and Black Payne, forming a tag team with Orlando Cologne. After Orlando left the promotion to work in FCW, he was inactive in WWC. During this I'm frame, Perez worked dates in Florida including his debut in American Combat Wrestling. Defeating ACW Combat Champion Kennedy Kendrick. He would later go on to work for Combat Championship Wrestling in Florida. He returned to the World Wrestling Council in their annual event, Camino a la Gloria, where he was included in a feud with BJ, Benjamin Jimenez. On April 24, 2010, he participated in an inconclusive three-way dance to determine the number one contender for the Universal Championship. On May 29, 2010, Perez was involved in an incident, responding to physical provocation by slapping a member of the audience. Following this event, he remained inactive within the promotion. On December 5, 2010 at Christmas in PR along with Roberto Rubio, Perez made his return to IWA to Attack the IWA World Heavyweight Champion Dennis Rivera to which apply in Sky High. On January 6, 2011 at Hysteria Boricua Perez challenged Rivera for the Undisputed World Heavyweight Championship which Perez won the championship for first time. Throughout the first three months of 2011, he entered a feud with Tua. The angle came to an end at Juicio final, where he dropped the championship. Perez remained off-screen for several months following this show, occasionally 
posting updates in the IWA's Facebook fan page. In August 2011 he made his final appearance in this run on the promotion, cutting a heel promo criticizing the public. After leaving the IWA due to unspecified monetary differences in the fall of 2011, he joined the Puerto Rico Wrestling Alliance, a regional independent promotion. As Escobar he went on to win the PRWA World Heavyweight Championship on December 17, 2011, defeating Richard Young. In March 2012, Perez retained Tarver. On May 26, 2012, he dropped the championship in a four-way match that also involved Matt Hardy. World Wrestling League, 2013 to 2015. In January 2013, Perez was reintroduced by Hugo Savinovic as Mr. E, reforming his team with Rubio and performing as one of the main talents in the World Wrestling League, a promotion based in Puerto Rico. Rebranded with a Latin lover gimmick and now known as Los Mamitos, they were given a first feud against Los Mega 10, a team formed by Wrestling Alliance Revolution, Ecuador, and Revolution Extreme Wrestling, Panama, champions, Panama Jack Daniels 10 in El Mega. Star. Their first encounter took place at Idols of Wrestling, concluding in a double disqualification. When both team exited the arena and continued brawling, the company's management was responsible for employing the WWL's association with Lucha Libre AAA Worldwide to book the team. In a four-way match for the AAA World Tag Team Championship at Triplemania XXI, where they Eliminated Jack Evans and Angelico before being eliminated themselves. After the event, Los Mamitos were involved in the first stage of a feud against Los Perros del Mal. Next was another four-way elimination contest to crown the first WWL World Tag Team Champions. Where they defeated the teams of Ida and Tomahawk, El Hijo de Kato Kung Lee and Vengator. Radioactivo, and Hedy Karawi and Zumbi in a four-way match. Former AAA World Heavyweight. Champion Dr. Wagner, Jr. and his son, Iho de Dr. Wagner, were originally scheduled to be in the match, but failed to attend the event without offering an explanation. On September 6, 2013, Los. Mamitos defended their titles by defeating the AAA World Tag Team Champions, the Mexican Powers, Crazy Boy and Joe Leiter. Two days later, the team lost to German Figueroa and Joe Hercules Gomez in a three-way that also included the Mexican Powers. However, since Perez had his boot in the ropes while the referee counted, WWL General Manager Rico Casanova ruled that the World Tag Team Championship could not change hands. On March 7, 2014, Los Mamitos retained the titles against La Dinastia Mascaras, Cicadelico, Jr. and Hijo de Dos Caras, when Rubio unmasked Cicadelico, Jr. and employed the distraction to score the pin. The teams met in a rematch. Two days later, wrestling to a double countout. On October 18, 2014, at Insurrection, Los Mamitos lost the titles against Thunder and Lightning. While the two promotions were involved in a working agreement, Perez made appearances in WWC, where he performed under a mask as a character known as The Alien and was assigned Jose Huertas Gonzalez as manager. Rubio suffered an injury and while he recovered, Perez reverted to his former ring name of Escobar and was involved in an angle where he was portrayed as mentally unstable. On January 6, 2015, 
Perez participated in the creation of Heel Faction The Gentleman's Club. Despite being joined by a Returning Rubio, the Los Mamitos gimmick was dropped and both reverted to their previous Ring names The group then entered into a feud with a group known as La Rabia led by Dennis Rivera and won a trios match the following month at Rebellion and Elser. On March 21, 2015, Perez participated in the International Cup Tournament and defeated Shane Sewell in the final to win the eponymous trophy. Prior to this, he had advanced by defeating a cruiserweight wrestler in the opening round and Roger Diaz in the semi-final. On August 16, 2015, Perez participated in Sin Piedad but did not wrestle, instead attacking IWRG. Ray Del Ring Ricky Cruz and taking that title with him. Later on the same event, he counseled. Wonderful, Xander, Alexander Ortiz, and joined the rest of the Gentlemen's Club in a turn against. Negrin. At WrestleFest, Cruz won the first encounter between both by convincing the referee that a foreign object had been used, but Perez retained possession of the title. In this event he formed an alliance with Ijo de Dos Caras and recruited Xander for unspecified reasons. Personal Life On August 7, 2012, Perez and his wife Jeanette Concepcion became the parents of triplets. Dylan Alexander Perez Concepcion, Derek Alexander Perez Concepcion and Christopher Alexander Perez Concepcion were born in San Juan, Puerto Rico Championships and Accomplishments Deep South Wrestling O Deep South Tag Team Championship, one time, with Sonny Siaki, 34 Florida Championship Wrestling OFCW Florida Heavyweight Championship, one time O Florida Tag Team Championship, three times, inaugural, with Eddie Colon, six International Wrestling Association O IWA Undisputed World Heavyweight Championship, one time O IWA Intercontinental Championship, one time. O IWA World Tag Team Championship, three times, with Andy Anderson, one, and Craven, two. O IWA Hardcore Championship, four times. Puerto Rico Wrestling Alliance. O PRWA World Heavyweight Championship, one time. World Wrestling Council OWWC Puerto Rico Heavyweight Championship, one time OWWC World Tag Team Championship, one time, with Rico Suave World Wrestling League OWWL World Tag Team Championship, four times, with Sexy B, two, and Wonderful Xander, two OWWL International Cup, 2015 Pro Wrestling Illustrated OPWI ranked him number 216 of the top 500 singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 2011.